I call the meeting of the uh, Arlington Finance Committee to order. Uh, the minutes are to forms. Are there any corrections or questions? Right. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Okay. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor of accepting the minutes as presented, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, minutes are accepted. Now, we have several things to get done today. Hopefully, that will not take us the full meeting. Uh, the first are two uh, reserve fund transfer requests. Uh, let me take the uh, school one first. Uh, this is a transfer request. This is the $200,000 from special education. So the request is for $200,000 to be transferred from the reserve fund to the uh, special education account in the school budget. Uh, remember then what we will do later, actually later on today, is transfer $200,000 or vote to recommend an appropriation of $200,000 through a transfer from the school budget to the special education stabilization fund. So this is sort of the first step. It'd be nice if we could have transferred the money directly from the reserve fund to the fund, but the you know, the, the, the controller said we can't actually if you read the statute, he's right. So, uh, so this is the request for that $200,000. Do I have any? So moved. Okay, second. Okay. Is there any questions? Mr. John? Maybe I've answered this question before, but I have to answer it again because this seems just so roundabout to me. So couldn't we just transfer this to $200,000 to the school directly at some point as a, a, from, from the reserve fund next year even? Well, because well, the money disappears, disappears at the end of this year. Huh? The, the, remember, this happened from last year when they had planned to put $200,000 uh, last fiscal year into the special ed stabilization fund. So the trouble is nobody actually put a warrant article in to, for, for, as a vehicle. So the, the arrangement we made with the school department, and they wanted to make it transparent, was that we, they, we would increase the reserve fund for this year by 200,000. They would uh, allow to over 200,000 200, plus a little bit to go to free cash to sort of compensate. And then this year, we transfer it to the school budget, and then the town meeting puts it in the special education stabilization fund. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little roundabout, but it's basically the only way we could do it. I continue to be puzzled by the need for that fund. But I will well, that they, they want to set aside money for special education uh, in case, for especially out of district, in case they get a big thing. Uh, and this is the only, the stabilization fund is the place to do it. It stays under town meetings control. They put it in. They have the ability. They have to approve it coming out again. So it's all sort of above board and very transparent. So, okay. Any other questions? Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Four, thirteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. some of okay and the second transfer is the one we've all been waiting for since last January um, and why don't I let the manager give a brief description of what's going on Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening. Uh, so there, there's a memo that was just distributed to the committee. Uh, my apologies, I uh, had failed to get it uh, to Gloria in a timely fashion for you to have an opportunity to review it today, but I'll, I'll briefly go over it. Uh, so the superintendent and I have been working with Triumph, who is the modular company that uh, was awarded the bid to put the modular classrooms at the Stratton School for the renovation project, to be able to put a few additional modulars down at the Thompson uh, to meet the space needs for the next school year with the goal of having them in place by this September, September of 2016. 
uh, we uh, requested a price from them. Uh, we did a site walk, uh, and they had several sort of, we'll call in-stock buildings, buildings they currently have or were being utilized at another local school district, so they didn't have to fabricate new buildings like they're being fabricated <coughs> for the Stratton School. Uh, the superintendent settled on a complex of, uh, of modulars that are currently located at Concord Academy. Uh, it actually makes up three small classrooms uh, that would be placed on the front rectangular lawn on the uh, Everett Street side entrance to the Thompson School. Uh, their initial cost proposal was uh, quite shockingly, surprisingly, much higher than what's before you tonight. Um, we negotiated and discussed that with them, having two further site meetings to try to get that price down. Uh, it's still resulting in a price that I didn't expect and I'm not entirely happy that I'm here before asking tonight, but confident that it gets us the modular classrooms we need uh, for both next year and the year following uh, in the case that either permanent construction is not complete uh, at the Thompson or the need to balance some space issues at the Hardy in the following school year. So what you have broken out before you um, is what we expect for funds to be needed over the course of the next three years. What I'm asking for tonight in a reserve fund transfer is for the actual quoted construction installation amount of 394,615, 7% uh, contingency that I added on, and the first year's lease payments of $105,000. Uh, so that would add up to tonight's uh, requested transfer of 527,238. Then we would need to plan for not this upcoming budget, but the next budget, FY18, of budgeting the second year's lease payments, which would be uh, the matching $105,000. And then in the FY19 budget, if there wasn't any further negotiation for either a move or continuation of the lease, we would need to um, budget $103,000 for removal of the modulus. So with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions from the committee. Okay, are there any questions from the committee? Could we keep this a third year if we wanted? <clears throat> or would that have to be renegotiated? There's, I guess there's more than likely some procurement challenges with doing that. Uh, so I, I, I can't confidently say we could. Okay. Any other questions? Peter? Uh, Adam, how much is the, uh, the lease at Stratton School from those? So the total at Stratton is 3.1 million. I believe the lease portions are 1.8 million. For 26. No, more than three buildings, though. Any other questions? Okay, do, do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Okay, moved and seconded. Uh, any further discussion? Theme. So, I mean, just a quick comment. Um, as we move through the larger school enrollment issues, you know, we had the Stratton Modulars come out of the Gatton just point out. I think the total is like three million, yeah, point one million. We've got this number coming in. Um, you know, and as we try to work on ways to, to deal with the challenge, I think what we start to realize is modulars are a terrible answer for this. Like, really, I mean, Spending a military use for two years, spending 600 grand for this is, is really a bad idea. Like, like we, we're going to vote it, we're going to do it because you have to, but from an economic sense, this is really bad. And so I think as we think about how we deal with the middle school and um, the Hardy and then the Thompson, which if we did nothing in a year, we'd have to add two more. I mean, I think it really shows that the, you know, the economics have tilted significantly away from this as a a viable thing that will capture us. And we really, you know, I know the Enrollment Task Force is working on it, but we really want <coughs> to you know, yes. get an answer and, and figure this out with something permanent where we're not doing this. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? Okay, uh, motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so Thank you. we have two more people come in, so 16, zero, and zero. Okay, uh, did you by chance take both and answer the controller? Okay, thank you very much.
You're welcome to stay, you know, but you don't. Okay, now there's two budgets that have to be modified. Actually, three budgets. Two budgets are being modified, one budget's being re-voted in order for it to be accurate because the, the, the minutes were off by a few dollars. Um, the first one, Alan, why don't you take the lead here as the assessors? Okay, the uh, uh, apparently that, that wasn't the that wasn't the, the uh, number that it ended up in the minutes. Okay. Uh, so we're just revoting the same thing. We're not changing anything. Just so in the minutes it could show that it was uh, that it was corrected. So all those in favor of two nine seven eight nine four, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. So the assessors official. Uh, the ZBA. The salary was okay. No, it's budget 16. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 91. <laughs> it's just dealing with the salary. Yeah, the salary was adjusted to 20,812 with no longevity. So the uh, total there will be 24,912. Okay, this was in a, uh, a, a memo that never quite made it to us. Uh, and uh, so, so the uh, salary is 20812 dropping the total down to 24912 So about eight or nine hundred dollars <coughs> decrease. Uh, so this is simply to correct a, a, an error from the budgets that we got. Any questions? Okay, uh, motion? So moved. Okay, second. second. Uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Four. Okay, and the last one is the controller. So that the, uh, apparently the, um, Expense item to uh, fund munis training with a new munis update was double, double count or something. Uh, so the uh, expenses are lowered to 102,972 for a total. Slowly. 102,972. So we're dropping the uh, 22, the training, which was 22,500. Down to seven thousand five hundred. Drops the expenses to one hundred two nine seven two. Okay, so total four six seven four seven six. I'm sorry, four four hundred and sixty seven thousand four hundred and seventy six. Oh, excuse me, sorry, that's the total. After the offset, 428,942. 428. 942. 942. So we, we picked up an extra 15,000 there, which I tried to get to the reserve fund, to the uh, finance committee budget, but <laughs> nobody seemed to go along with that idea. Okay, so basically the training sort of, it was ended up in two different budgets. Uh, rather than double count, we'll, uh, 
Okay, so the recommendation is 428942. Is there any questions? Paul, Paul one question. Did it end up in? Well, it's, it's going to go to the uh, override stabilization fund. No, no, but what, what was the other budget besides the control? Uh, IT. It was IT. Okay, yeah. okay do I have a motion? So moved. Second? Second. Okay. I, uh, Okay, uh, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, unanimous. Okay, Alan, I think that's the last budget. Okay, now. That's, that's done, that's done, that's done. Articles. So I'm going to start with the special town meeting. and then go back to the two articles in the regular. Starting with Article 1 of the special. Uh, this was amendments to the fiscal year 16 budget. Uh, I have been assured by the town manager that this was put in in case. Uh, as it turns out, that's not the case anymore. So uh, I'd entertain a motion of no action. So moved. Second. Second. Okay, any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay, favorable action, unanimous. No action. I'm sorry, you're right. No action, unanimous, 413. Uh, okay, transfer of funds for the Special Education Stabilization Fund. Uh, this is where we, now this is in two different places. We'll go back to this in a minute. Uh, the first where it's going to come up is in the uh, special town meeting. So we might as well get the 200000 done uh, in the special town meeting. The second one comes up really late at the end of the annual town meeting. And so I've asked the superintendent, uh, you know, in case you have any other funds you come up with that you could transfer, we could do it there. But this gets this done. So. Uh, I'd recommend that the sum of $200,000 be in hereby is appropriated to the Special Education Stabilization Fund, said sum to be transferred to, uh, from the Arlington Public Schools fiscal year 2016 budget, said fund established in accordance with. Uh, second. Okay, moved and seconded. Any discussion or questions? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Favorable action, unanimous. 413. Okay, Article 3 is done. Article 4 is done. Article 5 is the uh, high school feasibility study. I just got a, a brand new motion uh, from MSBA through uh, our town council this afternoon. Uh, I won't read the whole thing. Basically, that the, sum, the town appropriate the amount of $2 million for the purpose of paying cost of the Arlington High School project feasibility study uh, for Arlington High School, uh, including the payments of all costs and incentive related thereto, may be eligible for an MSBA grant. Uh, to meet this appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the Board of Selectmen uh, is authorized to uh, borrow the town is important. The town acknowledges that the MSBA grant program is a non-entitlement discretionary program based on need as determined by the MSBA and any cost the town incurs in excess of any grant approved and received from the MSBA shall be the sole responsibility of the town. Further provided the appropriation shall be subject to and contingent upon an affirmative vote of the town to exempt the amounts uh, from Prop 2 and a half. Uh, and that the amount of the borrowing authorized pursuant to this vote shall be reduced by any grant 
received from the MSBA. Uh, so uh, we're making this contingent to it. Let me take a step back. Uh, so right now we're not quite sure how much this is going to cost the feasibility study, uh, but the estimates that we've gotten are between a million and a half and two million. Uh, since I don't want to have to come back there and do it again, chose the two million dollars. Now, uh, we, we need a, a debt exclusion vote for this. At a meeting this morning of the Long Range Planning Committee, which had been delegated by the Board of Selectmen to give it a recommendation on when debt exclusions are, are going to take place, uh, they voted unanimously this morning to recommend to the Board of Selectmen, which of course can do you know, whatever it chooses to do. So it's only a recommendation, but I would assume uh, that they would follow that recommendation, is to have a debt exclusion this June. <coughs> uh, probably on June 11th. Uh, and on that June 11th debt exclusion will be uh, the feasibility study for the high school, uh, the uh, middle school, whichever project is taken, uh, expansion of the Thompson School, and um, Minutemen, if that's still viable at that, at that point. Um, so, you know, this fits in with that, because we have to take the vote within 90 days. Um, I think it was decided uh, to a large degree on the basis that we've got to give the tenants and the gives if we go in this direction uh, by June 30th. We've got to give them notice. If we don't give them notice by June 30th, then it puts off the whole project for the middle school uh, an, at least another year, which, as Dean pointed out, means we're going to spread modular classrooms all over the middle school uh, playing fields. So uh, in order to get that done, we simply got to get this project moving. Uh, and so we'd see those four projects this June. If that's successful, then the next phase of it probably would be in, in another year, maybe a year and a half, we'd see the high school, the actual construction project for the high school, and in all likelihood, the Hardy School, because uh, the Hardy School is going to need an addition too. Uh, so that's, that's the plan. The first four, and then the last two, a year to a year and a half later. Could you, could you uh, did, uh, did, uh, I'm sorry, Dick? Well, on the, I, how are they going to bundle this whole thing together for, yep. for a project? Are they going to show them individually? or as one bundle? I mean, that would be up to the Board of Selectmen. Um, we really didn't discuss that. Well, I, I, think the, the, I think the belief would be that they'll be bundled. So they'll, they'll list all four projects. And so you vote for the bundle? You vote for the bundle. So now, again, we didn't discuss that this morning, to yeah. be honest. We were looking at timing. Uh, so I think the selectmen will have to deal with that issue. So, minute, so if we, minute man could be in there, could get voted. Could be. Well, um, the, minute man, that was min, the, the minute man, remember, this does not authorize any debt. It doesn't authorize, the, the debt exclusion does not authorize debt, does not authorize projects. It just provides that if the projects are authorized, <coughs> the funds can be raised outside of the limits of Prop 2.5. So let's say the timing um, is that Minuteman is, is voted down, either because we voted down or Belmont votes it down or we both voted down or somebody else votes it down. Um, I think by that time the selectmen will pull it out. But even if they weren't able to because of the timing of all this, it really wouldn't make any difference. Um, it, it doesn't authorize the project. It just it just allows funds for the project to be raised outside the limit. Yeah, yeah I understand that, but yeah. I doubt the public will understand that. I'm well, it, it, it's an issue on timing. I think the question has to go 35 days. Now, the last I heard from Minuteman was, and I'm, uh, is that uh, they're not going to go for a referendum. They'll, they'll live or die with the uh, town meeting. Um, uh, you know, on that. So hopefully, um, Arlington and Belmont will make their decisions, you know, fairly early in this in the season, and uh, the selectmen can pull that out.
John? Uh, they were so sure earlier that they were going to do a referendum. I'm really surprised at what you're saying right now. Well, I, I, I sort of am too. Uh, but I've, uh, uh, you know, as you know, uh, I'm very concerned about the project. Um, I think most of you heard from, from Charlie Foskett on his concerns on the project. Um, I'm going to go out and meet with the superintendent myself um, tomorrow. He invited me for lunch. Uh, hopefully it's not one of those things where, you know, the poison is delayed or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but I heard from somebody very close to the project. They moved away from it. One of the reasons is that if it goes to a referendum and it passes all the towns but loses in Arlington, then we, under the new agreement, can pull out. We, so I don't think they want to take that risk. Um, so that's under my, and last night, the, uh, the, what we heard was that our Minuteman School Committee did not vote to put it on referendum. So they need a two-thirds vote of that. I know some were against it. Um, um, so that's my understanding. Steve, have you heard anything else? I did not have Okay. Um, but, but I, I think that's the reason you said is it, it, it sounds right. Even if we stayed in, if, if a community voted it down and, and voted against it in the referendum, there's, there's no capital cost to that community that's right. while you stay in. So it's a, yeah. a, a disincentive to the other communities. So we're getting a little away from Article 5, but that's that's what the Long-Term Planning Committee has recommended to the Board of Selectmen, that we do it in two shots, the first one in June, the second one a year to a year and a half later, which involved the high school and the Hardy. Uh, so that's the plan. Um, and, uh, uh, and another reason is, I think you've all seen it, you know, the, there's a lot of people involved in this whole issue, uh, and they want to move. So, you know, why wait? Um, also, if you if you wait till next fall, then you get mixed up. Well, should you put it on the presidential you know ballot, uh, or should you not? Um, I, I think most people wanted to have it stand alone uh, to be focused on. Okay. Um, so anyway, this would be the recommendation for the feasibility study for Arlington High. Uh, it'll be a max of two million dollars. It'll be contingent upon this passing. Uh, you know, now if it doesn't pass, maybe the, they'll take another shot at it in the fall, but right now that's, that's the plan. So is there any other questions on Article 5, the feasibility study for the high school? Uh, Peter, did you have a? Yes. What's the specifically the Thompson and Middle School part? I'm sorry? What, what is specifically this Thompson and Middle School part? Of it? Well, that, that's not part of, it, of this. Oh, this is only two items. I thought you said there were four. There, uh, there were for the four items for the debt exclusion. The only pro project that's being taken up under Article 5 is the high school feasibility study. I'm sorry, okay. Yeah, so this is just the high school feasibility study alone. We'll, we'll deal with the other issues in a, in a few minutes. Okay, Dick. The uh, authorization to borrow, how much is going to be there? Two million. Two million. They said it's like you said a million and a half to two. Yeah. <clears throat> so you go with the, you go with the higher number. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Do I have a motion? So moved. So moved. Second. Okay. Moved and seconded. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. Unanimous. Favorable action. Four thirteen. <coughs> Article. Six. Now, uh, I get, I'm asking for at this time a, a, a motion of uh, no report at this time. Uh, the, uh, as you know, the uh, the selectmen appointed a, a task force uh, from the FITCOM. It's it's myself, Charlie Foskett, Steve DeCourcy. Uh, it's also a couple selectmen, uh, school committee chair. Uh, uh, the superintendent, the manager, uh, and, and uh, the, our representative to the uh, Minuteman School Committee, uh, and invited also somebody from uh, the Minuteman administration to come together. That's meeting next Wednesday. Um, 
I haven't received official notice, but I believe it's next Wednesday, early morning, like 8 or 8.30, uh, to, to discuss this whole issue. Uh, so I think, um, you know, I've asked you all to, you know, look at the materials you've gotten, uh, to, to discuss it with others, uh, and uh, uh, we, we've had, you know, there's been some discussions around the town. Uh, it, it's not an easy decision uh, on how it goes. Um, but I think at this time, you know, I'd like to, to have the task force make their decisions and make, your recommend, make their recommendations back to us and then uh, at, at uh, one of the meetings before town meeting, I might even try to expand the meeting so we could discuss and, and vote on it at that point. So, uh, if it's okay with the committee, could we have a motion of no report at this time? So moved. Okay, uh, second? Second. Okay, discussion. Uh, John and then John. The right hand, my right hand, John. Oh, me. That's <laughs> <here>. <laughs> If, I, I think this is a very important issue, and if we're into town meeting and we have to do this vote, uh, I, I hope that we can get a majority, you know, a large number of the people on the finance committee at that meeting, which would be a, a half hour before town meeting. Is that true, what you're thinking? Well, um, now remember there'll be, there'll be a meeting on the 28th where the, no, wait a minute, that's a different one, I'm sorry. Uh, I will ask, the, the trouble is trying to pull so many people together. I had hoped that the meeting would be earlier than this. Uh, now, we're not having the State of the Union at the town meeting. Does anybody know? Oh, I think so. The State of the Town. The State of the Town. You think that'll be at town meeting bef the, before? I think that's the first time. Okay. I, I will try uh, to get a written um, piece out of the task force and get their recommendations to you, uh, <coughs> you know, that day. Uh, I'll... Um... Is there another first day of town meeting? Okay, just a sec. This... Yeah. No, this... Now, uh, so I'll try to get... No, John, this article comes up on the 27th. Yeah, it's not the first night. It's not the first night. What day are you Okay. The, uh, the, the meeting of the, uh, uh, of the uh, Minuteman Task Force, for want of a better word, is next uh, Wednesday. Uh, I will email you that date. So it'll be an open public meeting. So if anybody wants to come, they can. Okay, let me make a note of that. And then once the, the uh, group makes its rec rec uh, recommendation, I'll get that recommendation to you uh, along with the reasons behind it. Uh, I think the, the reasons against going forth with this are pretty well, I think, laid out with, um, by Charlie. Um, I, I th think he did a good job with that. I think that uh, the reasons before it were laid out by the superintendent the other night um, and that, and I think, uh, you know, we'll, I'll try to get as much time as I can. Now, just because t the special town meeting starts on the 27th, I think we can get all of it done and then, and then I'll, you know, move to postpone or move to table uh, if everybody wants more time, uh, you know, on that. Um, What's our voting deadline? Well, the voting <coughs> deadline is the 15th of May. So we've, we've, got, we've got time, um, and uh, um, to get this. So we don't have to, you know, we don't have to do it that Wednesday. Uh, I can move to postpone the, the special town meeting until, uh, or, or lay it on the, well, I'll have to figure out with the moderator. Uh, so the, fi the finance committee uh, will not be rushed. Um, I've also asked the selectmen 
they should take a position. Um, I think uh, Dan Dunn has been involved in this very extensively, and I think he'll request the selectmen. This is a big decision. And it's sort of one of those decisions that, uh, for those of you who were here when Bob O'Neill took his uh, first speech before the town meeting way, way back, and he ended the speech with a story that was way too long, but he ended it with, uh, no matter what decision you make, you'll probably live to regret it. So it's, it's, you know, it's not an absolute right or an absolute wrong. Um, and and it's, 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 one of the, it's one of the tougher ones. Okay, so uh, John, did you have a? I just, I, I share John's concern that, you know, we, we, we have enough time to, to consider and to discuss this very important issue. And, okay. You know, half an hour before it, it, I know, it is tough. Maybe what we need to do is, is schedule, uh, you know, an hour on Saturday morning or uh, uh, a Tuesday or something like that where we just get everybody together. Um, you know, that might be the, the best option. We also have the school enrollment task force, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so made and, uh, motion made and seconded for no report at this time. All those in favor, please. Uh, is, it, is, it, is it no report at this time or will report at town meeting? Because uh, we're going to report. Like, I, I'm just wondering, it's more, I don't, because we're going to send this out to people, it's going to say no report. Yeah. It's on the little, you know, language-wise. Uh, I don't have any strong feelings one way or the other. Do you think that would be better? I think the phrase no report at this time makes me a little, like, we're, we're going to give them something. No report tonight. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll accept that as a friendly amendment. Uh, we'll report at this time, and I think I'll have to go through, I think we have one or two others that we need to do. Uh, report at town meeting again. Yeah. Okay, so we'll report at town meeting uh, instead of no report at this time. Uh, okay, any other? Paul. Um, I'm a little bothered by Charlie's email, that it was sent by email. Can we include Charlie's email in the minutes of the meeting? I think that probably, I, I was thinking about that too. Um, and so, uh, Peter, could you include uh, Charlie Foskett's email in the, uh, as an attachment, or however you usually do it in the minutes? Yes. Okay. Good, good point, Paul. Thank you for bringing that up. Uh, any other? Any other questions? Okay. All those in favor of will report at town meeting, please say aye. Aye. Opposed. Okay. Unanimous. Four thirteen. So I think the special town meeting. We can take action on one, two. Oh. Okay. Uh, can I have a motion on Article Three? Well, tell you what. I'm just going to change. No report at this time. To we'll report at town meeting. I think that is probably administrative enough that we don't have to take a new vote. Uh, okay. So three we can do. Uh, well, three, three we'll put on the table. Four we can do, five we can do, and, and six again will be that. So now there's two articles left in the annual town meeting. Uh, article 53 is the Special Education Stabilization Fund. I'd like to just leave that open. Uh, and modify the comment. That if additional funds are available,
Okay. Um, so if, if I could get a, uh, I think, did I include a, a vote there with, uh, in the last round I put out? So what I had is that the sum of blank uh, being hereby is appropriated to the special uh, education fund. Uh, I'll modify the comment a little bit to, to let town meeting know that if additional funds beyond the special town meeting uh, transfer are available, we'll take action. Otherwise, if not, we'll, we'll vote no action on this. So I guess basically uh, I just need a vote uh, to proceed with this wording with a blank in there. So moved. Second. Okay, second. Okay, any questions? Anybody, everybody? So if the, if the school committee by the time we reach this at the end of town meeting has an additional $80,000 they could put into this, we'll plug in 80,000 and make that recommendation. If they have no additional funds, I'll change the recommendation to no action. Okay? Okay, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Action. Okay, and then the last one is the Fiscal uh, Stabilization Fund. Uh, Article 56. So, Alan, how much goes into the fiscal? $2,521,036. $2,521,036. Okay. So remember, this is how we balance the whole thing out. So if we plug that amount, it's zero down the bottom. Okay. Uh, now this amount, uh, now actually, let me mention one thing to you. Uh, the local aid numbers came out today, uh, and they included an additional sum of money for Chapter 7. Now, when the manager was negotiating, I think I, 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 we discussed this right at the beginning. When the manager was negotiated, uh, you know, the long-term planning committee had come up. They wanted this, you know, I wanted lower. It's my job. Uh, and we went back and forth. The manager negotiated with the superintendent for the increases that we have in the budget. Uh, and, and then, as a caveat, he mentioned that if additional funds come in at the stabilization in the uh, Chapter 70 account, that he would recommend that the school budget be increased by that amount. Um, and so, but this is just a house. We don't know what the Senate's going to do. <clears throat> so right now, we're not changing the school budget, and that money is in the fiscal uh, stability fund. Now, if by the time we get to the budgets, we are reasonably assured, and we either, you know, have the final vote of the House and the Senate, you know, the Senate budget comes out very quickly after that. If we have that, or if we have a reasonable level of assurance that that money will stay in, and I think we can feel comfortable with that since, you know, if the House puts it in, I don't think the Senate's going to want to go against education. Uh, then uh, I'll make the motion on the floor with your approval to uh, increase the school budget by X and take that money from the fiscal stabilization account. Uh, so uh, it was good news. Now, for some reason, there was a little piece of bad news. Uh, they, they dropped the uh, veterans benefits by like reimbursement by like 50 grand. Uh, so, so we've asked the veterans agent to look into that with his colleagues and find out what that, what the heck is happening. Is it that's really the number, or is it the house is just arbitrarily decided to cut veterans benefits, uh, which I find a bit amazing. Well, not actually, they're not cutting veterans benefits; they're cutting the reimbursement for the veterans benefits. So, we can come back depending on our assurance on the chapter 70 and I recommend to you increase the school budget and take it out of the fiscal stability fund. Uh, and on that, okay, John and Dick. Did you have some 
estimate of how much money we're talking about uh, the increase for chapter about 180,000. Uh, and the manager, I talked to him about, you know, if so they get 180,000 in all likelihood, that's three to four new positions, could be teachers, could be teacher's aides, could be whatever. Uh, he feels he has enough money built into the health insurance to, to cover three or four or five additional people uh, on that. So uh, uh, I'm sure this will make the, the school department very happy. Uh, but we just want to make sure that that money is going to stay. Uh, and if it's in the House and Senate, I cannot imagine the governor would be like. Uh, right, uh, Dick? Uh, that was my question. OK. Paul? Um, the most recent long-range projection I have was in my hands is from December 16th. Is there a, a more recent one than this that anyone has available? Because this one um, had a number for fiscal 2017 of putting essentially 3.3 million into the override stabilization fund. Um, so this is a significant difference. What date was that, Paul? December 16th, 2015. Yeah, yeah, so, so Paul, if you go to um, page 13 of the budget book. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has an updated one. Okay. What's that, what's the figure there? 2.1. So, uh, I you believe know. the evaporation of the school adjustment. Right. The loan adjustment. Right, so that was done before all the negotiations on the school budget. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, is there any, so uh, right now uh, the recommendation is two million five twenty one zero thirty six into the fiscal uh, fiscal stability fund. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Okay, moved and seconded. Any further discussion? Okay, all those. By the way, we did have a drop in our uh, reimbursement for veterans. Uh, but we didn't have a substantial increase in charter school reimbursement. So, and, and more than the drop in the veterans. So, not quite sure what's going on there. But. Well, and an increase in charter school assessments. They seem like they're getting more integrity. Yeah. Okay, so all those in favor of 2521036 into the Fiscal Stability Stabilization Fund, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, unanimous. That's all I have. Is there any other any other questions, thoughts, direction we're going? It's uh, I was about to amazed that because the House budget is is not as high as the governor's budget, and yet they put a lot they put more money in Chapter 70. Now if they had increased Chapter 70 and decreased other general government assistance, then you know the schools wouldn't have gotten it again because that's yeah, that's just a shell game. But uh, uh, you know, the manager will be letting the superintendent know. Uh, you know the, the direction we're going. And yeah. despite the thousand or the in the seventy-eight uh, people, no, it would be one hundred eighty-eight thousand. No, extra. We're going to increase the budget. No, the surplus is 188,000. So that would be in addition to what's in there, what's in the, uh, what we've already recommended for the schools.
Okay, are there any other questions? Any other business before the committee? So please think about that man on, you know, come to the committee if you're if you're around. Uh, the other issue is the uh, um, enrollment task force. Please come to the, uh, the presentation on the 28th. It's going to be down in the auditorium. Uh, so, you know, uh, and uh, then we're going to be meeting again on the following Monday to make sure to make a recommendation uh, on, the, on, the, on going to the Gibbs versus expansion of the Odyssey. Uh, so there's, I have never, you know, I, I've been on the finance committee about as long as Dick Fanning has. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and uh, well, we got to talk to our therapists about this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have never had so many balls up in the air at the same time. It, it has just been incredible. Did they ask for a raise? Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> really great. Okay. There's no more business. Meeting adjourned.